Every time something strange shows up in the sky, we expect NASA to give us the clearest images, the first explanations, the real story. That's how it's supposed to work, right? They've got the biggest telescopes, the best instruments, the cleanest data, but this time, Something feels off because the sharpest, most detailed images of 3i Atlas didn't come from NASA at all. They came from amateurs, backyard telescopes, small observatories, people stacking dozens of exposures on their own computers. And, and somehow, their images reveal features that don't appear in the official releases. And honestly, that's weird. NASA has billion dollar equipment. These folks have consumer-grade cameras and patience, yet they're the ones showing clear, forward-facing jets, defined structures, and a bright, consistent nucleus that keeps showing up frame after frame. I'm not saying NASA is hiding something, but the question kind of asks itself. If 3i Atlas is just a normal interstellar comet, then why do the clearest details only appear when outsiders process the data? Why are the official previews washed out, low contrast, and missing the exact features everyone wants to study? And while all of this is happening, another object, C-2014 UN-271, is moving through the outer solar system a 150-kilometer-wide giant that's waking up farther from the sun than almost any comet we've ever seen. Taken together, these two objects create a quiet, uneasy feeling. If nothing unusual is going on, then why aren't we seeing everything? When the first amateur images of 3i Atlas started spreading online, a lot of people were surprised. The Sona, not because they looked strange, but because they looked better than NASA's. Backyard telescopes, small observatories, off-the-shelf cameras, and somehow they were producing clearer, sharper frames than the official releases, and that alone raises eyebrows. NASA has billion-dollar instruments. These people have patience, dark skies, and good processing skills. Yet, the amateurs were the ones showing a defined coma, a clean tail, and most importantly, that, that forward-facing jet pointing ahead of the object. Meanwhile, NASA's previews looked washed out in low detail, almost like they intentionally avoided highlighting anything unusual. Now, this doesn't automatically mean there's something hidden. It could be calibration delays, or maybe NASA doesn't want to comment until the data is fully cleaned. But if 3i Atlas is just a normal interstellar comet, then why does all the interesting detail only appear when people outside the agency process the data? Why does the supposed nucleus show up consistently in amateur stacks, but not in the official material? Then there's the trajectory. Retrograde, but oddly close to the ecliptic, almost sliding along the same plane used by our own probes. Not impossible, but not what you'd expect from a random visitor from another star system. And still, NASA stays almost silent. No deeper explanations, no high-resolution follow-ups, no acknowledgement of the odd jet orientation. Again, this isn't about claiming 3i Atlas is artificial. It's just about noticing that the clearest information isn't coming from the people with the best tools. It's coming from amateurs who stumbled into details NASA hasn't addressed at all. And when the official story and the independent images don't quite line up, people naturally start asking why. While everyone is busy arguing over 3i Atlas, there's another object drifting through the outer solar system that quietly makes the whole situation feel less like an isolated event and more like a pattern. C-2014 UN-271, also known as Bernardinelli Bernstein, isn't new, but it's still one of the best examples of how our expectations about what space should look like and the reason it matters here is simple. The same kind of weirdness we're seeing with 3i Atlas is happening on a completely different scale with UN-271. UN-271 is enormous, roughly 150 kilometers across. That's not just big for a comet, that's bigger than many dwarf planets. If 3i Atlas is the strange compact visitor with the oddly focused jet, UN-271 is the slow-moving giant that challenges our understanding in the opposite direction. And it does this in a way that's just as uncomfortable. It started showing activity way out near the orbit of Saturn, in temperatures so low that even typical comets remain silent and frozen. UN-271 was already venting carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and ammonia, as if it didn't care about the rules. That alone would be unusual, but what makes it relevant now is how it parallels the 3i Atlas situation. 
In both cases, the behavior doesn't match the textbook explanation. With 3i Atlas, it's the strange forward-facing jet and the inconsistent imaging. With UN-271, it's a giant object that acts alive in a region of space where nothing should be happening at all. Two different objects, two very different scales, but both fall into the category of this shouldn't be happening, but it is. And once again, the communication around UN-271 hasn't been especially detailed. No major public threads breaking down its early activity. No real push to explain why such a massive object is behaving this way. It's as if it was acknowledged once. Hey, we found this giant comet thing, and then quietly set aside. Meanwhile, the strangeness remains, and the lack of updates leaves a lot of people feeling like these odd behaviors get filed into silence instead of discussion. That's why UN-271 matters in a video about 3i Atlas. It shows that unusual behavior in the solar system isn't rare right now. It's not a one-off. When objects this different, one small and interstellar, the other enormous and ancient, both break the rules in their own ways. It makes the dismissive, nothing to see here attitude feel off. Not because there's some hidden agenda, but because these events deserve more honest curiosity than they're getting. And if a 150 kilometer object can wake up in deep, frozen space with almost no explanation, then maybe a small interstellar visitor showing a forward-facing jet isn't as simple or as normal as some official statements imply. The pattern is the point, and UN-271 makes that pattern harder to ignore. When you look at 3i Atlas and UN-271 side by side, it's hard not to notice a pattern. Two unusual objects showing up almost at the same time and both behaving in ways that don't fit neatly into what we expect. One is small, fast, and surprisingly structured. The other is gigantic, ancient, and waking up in a place where comets are supposed to stay frozen and silent. And the timing feels unusual. For most of human history, we didn't detect a single interstellar visitor. Then we had Oumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, now 3i Atlas in 2025, three objects in less than a decade after centuries of nothing. Maybe it's just better technology. Maybe they were always passing by and we were blind to them. But a lot of astronomers quietly mention the same thing. This many arrivals, this close together isn't what we expected. And that's where transparency matters, because when NASA releases soft, low-detail images of 3i Atlas, while amateurs are showing sharp structures, people notice. When UN-271 starts acting like a comet, long before comets are supposed to wake up, people notice that too. These things don't automatically mean something unnatural is going on, but they do mean something unusual is going on. And pretending everything is normal only makes it worse. Some researchers say the solar system might be drifting through a denser region of the galaxy. Others think we're just finally seeing what was always there. And of course, a few voices suggest more exotic possibilities, a dearer old technology, ancient debris, forgotten objects from civilizations we'll never meet. Nobody is claiming that's the case, but it's also true that no one can completely rule these things out. What's certain is this. When two objects this strange show up almost at the same time, and the clearest details come from people outside the institutions we rely on, it forces us to step back and ask bigger questions. Not, is it aliens, but something more grounded. Do we actually understand what moves through our solar system? And are we being shown everything we need to understand it? Because maybe everything is natural. Maybe it all fits a pattern we just haven't recognized yet. Or maybe the silence, the gaps, and the selective releases are part of a story we're only now starting to notice. And either way, the sky doesn't care what explanations we prefer. The objects are here. They're behaving the way they behave. And the more we watch them, the more it feels like our picture of the solar system has been missing a few pieces. Soon enough, both 3i Atlas and UN-271 will drift out of view and the attention around them will fade. But the questions they raise don't fade with them, because this whole situation wouldn't feel strange if the information matched. If NASA's images were as clear as the amateur ones, if the details lined up, if nothing felt filtered, 
but that's not what's happening. The clearest frames of 3i Atlas are coming from regular people with backyard telescopes, not from the agency with billion-dollar tools. And when those independent images show features missing from the official releases, it's normal for people to wonder why. UN-271 adds to the same pattern. A giant object acting active where it shouldn't yet barely discussed, not hidden, but definitely not given the attention something this unusual deserves. Two different objects, both behaving in unexpected ways, and both surrounded by a kind of quiet, selective communication. None of this proves anything artificial, but it does show that our understanding isn't keeping up with what we're seeing, and the explanations don't fully address the strangeness. That happens, people ask questions, reasonable ones. And so before these objects fade into the dark, it's worth paying attention. Because even if everything is natural, it still isn't ordinary. Pretending it is doesn't help anyone understand what's actually happening out there. If you're still here, still curious, consider leaving a like, subscribing, or becoming a member. The next visitor might not give us much time to react.